And it's been so nice and refreshing. And we've also seen the sky clearing in the South Bay, but still a little bit of haze, which we do typically see as the fog clears. But I'm also watching that air quality because of all of the fires across the region and the smoke that we are getting near the coast and the bay is actually coming in from Oregon, kind of trapped in that marine layer. So we are seeing a moderate air quality there. It's just over that threshold of 50, what we look for when they do that count of how much particulate matter is in the air. So it is looking good elsewhere. So if you do have breathing problems, you do need to limit your time, especially near the coast. As we take a look at where we are now with these temperatures, we're in the upper 50s, upper 60s in Oakland, Hayward, and we're seeing some upper 60s down the peninsula. And where the sky is clearing in San Jose, we're now at 70 degrees, very comfortable. We're warming up in Brentwood now at 76 degrees. Check out the seven day forecast up at the bottom of the screen as we zoom in on the South Bay and take a look at where our temperatures are headed for today. 82 in Los Gatos and Wheels see Morgan Hill reaching 80 degrees, East San Jose reaching up to 78 degrees. So we are going to feel some very comfortable air, but wide ranging just depending on where you are. We're only making it up to 67 in Oakland for a high. Walnut Creek, a high of 79 degrees and a comfortable, uh, much comfortable temperatures compared to what we had over the weekend. While Redwood City is topping out at 72 today, we'll stay in the 60s in San Francisco as well as some mid 50s in some spots. And as we look at the North Bay, Highs ranging up to 98 degrees. We're keeping an eye also on our local fire danger index. This takes a measure of the vegetation, the humidity in the air, the wind speeds. And as of now, it is fairly low, all thanks to the thick layers of fog that we're seeing near the coast. We are going to stay in this weather pattern as high pressure moves on and a storm system approaching the Pacific Northwest and its counterclockwise winds flowing around that storm system will enhance our westerly wind and actually provide more cooling and high higher humidity as we go throughout the week. So as we look at this seven day forecast, our temperatures remaining the same highs in the low 80s for some of our warmest spots inland, and we are going to just come up a few more degrees by the end of the weekend. Not too many changes in San Francisco's with our highs reaching into the low to mid 60s and uh, morning clouds and fog with some peaks of sunshine as we go 